What's going on? Good morning, everyone. I'm uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Found a place in the shade to escape the heat today. It's beautiful. This is a day use place only, but um, it's still beautiful for day use. Get here early enough, you can get one of the good day sites here. Lots of greenery and, and trees. And you got James over here joined us too. He's parked in the shade. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's going <laughs> on, guys? So, We're back at it again. Heck yeah. And we got some shade cover this time. Well, the, today it'll be pretty cool because if we want to, we can go further down a lot easier. That right? is true. Or we can just plop a chair because it is just a short little jaunt right here to once again, the beautiful Deschutes River. And just standing down there, it feels so much cooler next to the water. But we got our own uh, table here. And I think, the, I think this is a good way to waste a hot day. I don't think it was always day use, right? No, it wasn't. So here at Deschutes River Ranch Park, they used to allow overnight camping and then the city county cracked down on the nice gentleman who runs this and uh, told him that he can't allow people to be here overnight commercial, well not commercially, but recreationally. Even though he takes care of it and there's trash cans and there's a donation box up front and it's just one he of those. He has porta potties. Yeah, he even brought porta potties and, and, and dumpsters. So um, it's too bad. This used to be a really nice place to be, but we're going we're gonna to try to enjoy it for the day. <laughs> All right, guys, am I doing this whole summer thing right? <laughs> I can't tell if I'm doing it right. Look at this. Man. There's people coming down the river there. Why not just plop the chair in the shade? <laughs> going to blow up some inner tubes later. Right now, I just want to relax. Yeah. All right, well, James and I are going to get our first float on. This yes, is we are. Well, this is going to be our starting point. So we're going to walk up to the bridge and float back to back to camp here. Yeah, sounds good. I feel like we just did this recently. Floated. I think we floated yesterday. <laughs> Was it on this river? Same exact body of water. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Why doesn't it look the same? <laughs> it's a nice little walkway through here. We're kind of just hugging the shore. Lots of people got the right idea to just kind of use it for day use. Although oh, it's like they might be trying to camp here. And you're kind of walking through everybody's campsite, but it's a communal road. See, there's the, the river right down there. That's where we're heading. All right, we're gonna start at the bridge and go that way. That's our, <laughs> that's our plan. It's the water's moving pretty quick like here. So it, it is. once we go, we're gonna be going. Like it's pushing on me in the tube already here. It wants us to go places. We're going places. We're going places. <laughs> okay, we made it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Hey, there's a thing there. Yep. I slowed down. Another good day in the Northwest. Oh, yeah. Woo. oh James, sorry. We, 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 we got a floater coming your way. Floater. Floater. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> What'd you do, James? <laughs> That's awkward. It's going to float the whole way down with me. <laughs> ah, that ain't right. It ain't wrong. Actually, it is wrong. Yeah. And Dookie's still up there. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> We're playing Chase the Dookie. <laughs> Pretty easy float, right? Yeah. Not bad. Hey, it'd be terrible if you, if you flipped over. If you flipped over. <laughs> Man, I didn't sign up for this. You didn't sign up for this, did you? Hey, he's doing good. Jax is doing really good. Good boy. You want to stay in your safe spot now? All right. Topaz, will you keep an eye on the kitty kitty? Okay, thank you. All right, you two. Timber, did you sleep good last night? No, all right, buddy. You want to go float? Jax floated. You can float. Train going by up there. It's kind of loud. Taking a little break here before we go float again. Might go try to catch some crawdads in the river there. Andrew's got a, a homemade crawdad trap here. I don't really have any bait like chicken or fish to use, so I'm gonna improvise and just use a can of Jax's Fancy Feast here, punch some holes in it to uh, kind of try to attract them as bait. And then uh, we'll take this over to the other side there, maybe in the shade, see if we can catch some. All right, that's what it looks like in there. Let's go put it somewhere. Eh, maybe? 
we'll check it out later, see how it does. All right, this time we're going to walk back the same trail and we're gonna start at the bridge where we've been starting off before, but we're gonna, we're gonna actually float past where our campsite is and see what's going on a little bit farther down river of where we're kind of parking out, camping out for the day. Lazy float, lazy float, all about the lazy float. All right, we're just getting back to our initial starting point. Yeah. Place is getting busy too, holy cow. Oh yeah, the shade feels nice here. By the way here, my videos are delayed here, but this is the hottest day in Washington state of 2020. The hottest here in Western Washington at least. That's a warm one. We're gonna, we're gonna probably dunk up here. I'm gonna dunk when we get up here. You gonna dunk? Maybe. We'll dunk him, we'll dunk him. Ah. Oh. You're gonna dunk me. <laughs> hey, drop the knife. Bro, was that you? Whoa, man, what happened? Whoa. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go to the, I think this is where we're gonna get out. I think so. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Unless somebody jumps on me. Ah, I'm gonna move. Oh, got a jumper. Yep. Here we go. Ooh, that's a steep jump. Oh, geez. Oh, that's cool. Coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through. Lost my hat, but I got it back. All right, taking a break from the river and jumping off cliffs. <laughs> I'll wait till I get hot again here in the shade and we can go have another float. Now it's been a little bit. Let's uh, cross the river over here and check on that crawdad trap. Uh, I thought it was over here. You guys can probably see a little better. Oh, there it is. I see it. Uh, I don't see anything in there, but let me pull this up. We'll have a little look. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Let's see if we can catch some crawdads with some dogs instead. See if I can get the hot dogs in that opening right there. So I don't have to open the main thing. Good to go. And we'll drop her back in there. Right. Wait. Right there. Actually, I'm going to change it. I'm going to put it a little closer to these. I don't know what that is, but I think there might be some in there that might want to go in here like that. We'll see. Hang on, Andrew says we got something in the trap. Let's go check out this trap. Yep, gonna pull this guy up. Ouch. Gonna pull it up now and have a look here. Yep. So, right there, that's Crawdad, folks. He's about a little two and a half, three incher maybe. Looks like a lobster, right? Yeah, he took the bait. We're gonna, we're gonna try to catch some more though. I've never tried eating crawdad, but I guess that's a thing around here if you're into it. I'm not a big seafood guy anyway. And that's what he is. He's like the lobster of freshwater. Well, it's about 7 p.m. now. I was going to pop the drone up and try to get some cool shots, but don't know if we're going to do another float. Uh, it's it's clearing out in here. Remember, the park's only open dawn till dusk, so eventually you got to start moving that way before it gets dark. Uh, James is... James is moving on, but but we may hang out later this summer before it's it's ending. He's got some things to take care of in another county. But it's good hanging out with him. It's good to see him, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some possible hiking in the future. We talked about it. We'll see. And final update on the crawdad count for the day. Left it out there a little longer. We got four of them. Got that guy climbing up on top of that guy in there. Yep. You can see they nibbled the hot dog a bunch there, too. That's crazy. Catch a crawdad with a hot dog. Okay, I think Andrew is going to actually boil those and eat them. I'm, I'm going to uh, skip that one for now. I'm not really a seafood guy, but it, apparently you can uh, eat the meat from the tail and the claws on a crawdad. And that's your thing? Oh, cool. Anyway, that's just gonna wrap it up for this video, except that uh, I hit up another thrift store and found a couple goodies and wanted to share those with you for my Mickey Mouse collection. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Jackson, I'll see you in two more days. I'll leave you with those Mickey finds. Good night, guys. All right, we're gonna start with another older plush toy, y'all. He's missing his nose. He's got a colored on nose there, but I think from a distance you can't tell. He's also full of sand at the bottom. I don't see a tag that that says what company uh, made this little guy, but um, he's, he's really cool looking and a very unique looking Mickey Mouse.
Also, hey, excuse me. I also got this one as uh, Mickey and Minnie at the piano, kind of like my inflatable Christmas uh, decoration. And then it says Mickey on the back. It's an old uh, Welsh's jam glass jar there. That's a cool piece. Two bucks. And these are going to be my first two official Disney pins. I don't collect pins. I know, I know it's a big uh, hobby. A lot of people like to collect pins. This one's got Mickey Mouse and Cinderella's castle, and it says Disneyland on it. Uh-huh. Or is that Sleeping Beauty's, Sleeping Beauty's castle? Yeah. And patriotic Mickey Mouse pin there. Oh, I'm trying to get rid of the glare. Yeah. I don't know how rare these are, but I am going to start collecting pins and get a pin board, uh, but only Mickey Mouse type of pins. I'm going to limit it because I could get out of hand and these can get expensive. So, no, that's not all I got, guys. Hang on just a minute. While I reach down and grab this, you guys know I already have a version of this at the house. But there are lots of different versions. So, ladies and gentlemen, I got a different Mickey Mouse telephone. So, I have the rotary dial one where he's like got his thumb up. And now he's just kind of posing with, with, with a newer version there from AT&T that hasn't even been written on on, on that. So uh, this will look fantastic next to my other Mickey Mouse phone. And now I need to get the other, I don't know, seven or eight of them that exists and just have a whole shelf full of Mickey phones. Yay.